new band. Brought to you by NZ on Air. The active life. Oh, yeah. No, my Heidi my you're on radioactive.fm. My name is Amy, and it is time for our active life session for this week. I'm stoked. I'm really stoked to announce that Jang are joining us today, all the way from Tamaki Makoto. Welcome. Hey. How's it going? <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> it's great to have you Thank guys you. here and to have a full band in mm -hmm. the active live room as well. It's been a trying time, this COVID stuff. So yeah, yeah. very excited to have some have have some punk. Well it's in about our to lives. get worse. <laughs> <laughs> so I would love uh, Patty, our front man mm -hmm. here, if you could just go around and introduce everybody and tell us what it is you do. Certainly. Uh, this is Jono right here, uh, Capricorn, um, bass player, backing vocalist, extraordinaire. This is Alex, uh, Leo, um, uh, on the drums. That's it, yeah. And I'm Patty, uh, guitar, obviously Aries. <laughs> and I'm Amy, and I'm a Gemini. Watch <laughs> out. Um, how, got, how long have you guys been active as Jang? It's, it was the start of 2019 that we started playing together. Um, John wasn't in the band yet. He joined later on in 2020. Cool. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's been a little while now. Mm -hmm. um, surf, punk, slam are the words that have been used to describe your music. I yep. wondered if you could kind of elaborate on that and just tell us a bit more about the vibe of the band. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's, um, it's punk rock influenced a lot by uh, 60s surf guitar sound, mostly because of this guitar that I actually have that just sounds that way anyway. <laughs> and what uh, is the guitar for people listening at home? Uh, it's an echo something. Um, <laughs> it's got the model on it somewhere. I found it out one time, but it's it's like it's from the eco 60s. VSP. VSP. It's that's a it, beautiful, it. vibrant blue. Thanks. Stunning. It mostly it's, uh, works. Even. It's glittery like a Burger King seat. Perfect. That's what we all want in our lives. All right. Um, excellent. I would love if we could go into a track. What Sweet. is the first song you're going to play for us? Uh, this is one of our ones. It's um, we made a little video for it in lockdown last year, but uh, we've got the proper version coming out on the album later this year. The song's called El Alamo, and it goes a little something like this. Doesn't go like that, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh going to get you in the mood for a Friday night boogie. I don't know what is. Jang, well, like, dang. 
Cut that part I, I wanted to ask you where the name Jang comes from, because after a little quick little Google search, I've found it's a it's a newspaper in Pakistan. Correct. Really? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Interesting. Have is you not that, done this before? That that may be how we named it. That that's the, that's the one. Have you? Uh, there's not there's exactly. other things. What else did you find? That's all I yeah, found. What, yeah, what else? Um, if you ever watch Wayne's World, it's it's Mandarin for excellent as well. Okay. In that movie, I don't know if that's correct, but also the um, movie. the like you know mafia guy from Squid Game. Yes. So uh, it's right. also called Jack. It's his name. It's the name. All of, of these we found out after. He, he was named <laughs> after us, so we're actually going to court over that. So, so pure coincidence. <laughs> More or less, the actual the name actually is just onomatopoeia. It's just a loud sound. Yeah. Cool. Uh, which. Yeah, seems to sum up the music pretty well. And um, earlier you mentioned 60s surf guitar as kind of being an influence on, on the sound. I wondered if um, you had any anything else that kind of drives your sound as well, any sort of hmm. specific artists, emotions. What what are your influences for your music? Wow, that's a great question. I wish I had an answer off the cuff like <laughs> that. Um, uh, tough to say. I mean, like these days I'm finding myself just being really inspired and by all kinds of music and listening to as much as possible. Um, I'd say that it's mostly just uh, 90s punk rock, especially the West Coast kind of stuff, Californian, SoCal kind of music. Um, I just listened to so much of that growing up as a teenager that it kind of just has been infused into how I write songs and how I think about music in general. So I couldn't get away from it even if I tried. That's me personally, anyway. That and Death Grips, that's it. Wicked. Had to do so, it. Yeah, it's a good selection. And you're in the middle of a nationwide tour at the moment. We certainly are. Yeah, how's it all been going? <laughs> really well, actually. Pretty Wicked. good. Um, it's been really awesome how all the different cities we've been to have been so uh, welcoming. Mm. First Especially of all, with the red light that we started. Yeah, it's so thankful that we're in orange light. We were expecting to come in red light. We're so thankful that it's not. But, you know, <laughs> we just, because we had the mentality when it was red light of like, you might as well put it ahead, you know, give people something to look forward to regardless of the fact that because mm -hmm. so many gigs were just cancelled, removed. It was like there's nothing to do. It was all seated anyway, and people were like, oh, I don't know, but it's like, look, if something's on, you might as well go. Yeah, so. seated's yeah, still pretty yeah. fun. Yeah, the fact cool. that we've changed to orange, though, is is such a blessing. <laughs> have you have you performed in orange yet? Yes, we did. We last, did night. last night. Yeah, last night. Yeah, in, uh, New Plymouth. Yeah, and we played in New Plymouth last night and booked it down here really early. <laughs> yeah. Um, with a drum kit added to the to the car, yeah. as well as all our gear. So that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> we figured it out though. And this would be the biggest tour you've been on, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, of course. Yeah, cool. Um, and how are you finding the audience reception? Amazing, Great. to be honest. That's awesome. pretty good. You have to turn the dial sometimes, though, to sort it out. <laughs> uh, we're, we're really floored by how, how amazing all the bands we've played with have been as well. Um, shout out to Arts, who we're doing our show with tonight, as well as The Fiends and uh, Felix Best Dancers. Yeah. And that's at Newtown Sports Bar tonight, $15 on the door. If anyone tells you that Jumping the Shark is playing, they're wrong. Sorry. Um, I just <laughs> thought I'd actually mention the gig on tonight because yeah, we haven't definitely. brought it up yet. <laughs> We've got to do the plug. Um, I just wondered as well, um, with kind of COVID stuff that's been going on, thank goodness we are in Orange, as you mentioned, have you had many kind of hurdles that you've had to overcome with the band or have you kind of got through pretty scot-free? We've uh, been lucky, I we've guess. We've only had to uh, cancel one gig, I think. But it was a very good timing because... Um, neither me or Patty got COVID, but we were in households with COVID. Oh. At the exact same time. Mm -hmm. So yeah. we just had to sit down for a while. Yeah, we've been <laughs> lucky so far, but yeah, we're, we're getting ready to eat those words probably by the end <laughs> yeah, of this weekend. <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> Alrighty, let's hear another song. For sure. What's our second one today? This one's called Angel Eyes. Biblically accurate. <laughs> On down the street, and if I feel ambitious, I come here once a week. You can be my lover if you're out here with me. My brother, off 
face down on the street. I can feel my head now, and I can feel my feet. You can be my brother if you're out here with me. Oh, I took that road again. We're also videoing all of this as well. That video will be up on Radioactive Socials and YouTube later this Savo, so you can check out... You can watch my sweat patches grow in real time. In, in full <laughs> HD as well, you know, it's pretty special. Uh, you guys have some pretty distinct artwork mm -hmm. and aesthetics uh, when it comes to album art and merch and band tour posters, etc. Who does all your design? Me, actually. Yeah. Well, a solo effort yeah, as yeah. well. Uh, well, no, team effort. We're a team. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I'm doing all the artwork. We sort of decided what we wanted for all of the images. Yeah. So we sort of brainstormed it, and then I've taken that and then started to sort of flesh out an idea. Um, and then probably Alex here has done a lot of the bulk of the work for the posters themselves, so he's sort of putting that together. Um, and I just yeah. tell everyone else what to do. <laughs> Paddy's here. Yeah. He writes music, I guess. I mean, just something. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he's a supervisor. Yeah, he's supervisor. Yeah, creative yeah, but consultant. It's, um, it's definitely something that we try and do in-house. Jono um, is a yeah. fantastic artist. Uh, he's being modest right now. He's done all our recent album art, which is like, uh, for the six songs on our new upcoming album, uh, each of them is represented by a different animal. So John has been doing artwork for them. Uh, yeah, this next one coming up um, is a ram. <laughs> and I want to talk about Frank Sinatra. Oh yeah. <laughs> are you are you yeah, Frank Sinatra cool. fans? Uh yeah. Yes, uh, yeah. Actually. I think it's pretty cool actually. <laughs> Who <laughs> isn't? Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, dumb question. I've had a well, actually, I he, he sounds a lot like Christmas music, you know. Oh I yeah. Feel totally like, right. Yeah. yeah kind of like Michael Bublé as well, mm -hmm. where it's 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 good, but you know. I think it's just that, like they recorded all the Christmas music in that era when that was what pop sounded like, and yeah. it's like associated with that from now. And but this, the book, yeah. this <laughs> next song is not Christmas music. <laughs> no, no. So you've covered Frank Sinatra's "My Way." Before we hear it, can you just kind of talk us through what was the what was the thought process yeah. behind why this song? So yeah, no, that's a really good question. Uh, the, well, I first I th think the first thing to point out is that it's actually not a cover of Frank Sinatra's "My Way" at all. <laughs> I like saying it is, but I just like lying um, and sort of <laughs> seeing what happens. Basically, uh, it was when I was thinking about. Uh, Sid Vicious's cover of um, Frank Sinatra, uh, famously in Sid and Nancy, I think, or there's like a music video about that music video of it out there somewhere, um, and it's cool, but it's like not a super exciting uh, uh, shakeup of the original song. So I was like, well, I'll just do it myself then, <laughs> which is what <laughs> the song's about, up. including rewriting it from the ground up. But it's fun to name uh, your songs after like famous songs, just as like kind of a flex, you know, you're like coming for their throne. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, Jang takes the throne in this next song. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Frank Sinatra's, not Frank Sinatra's, My Way. That's right. Woo! 
in the live room. Jang in the library. <laughs> <laughs> Again, for those who missed it or have just tuned in, you're playing tonight yeah. at Newtown Sports Bar. And can people still get tickets? They certainly can. Perfect. We'll have door sales too. Yep. So. If possible. It'll be fine. Yeah. There we go. No so. excuses. Yeah. Um, so tonight <laughs> in Wellington. And then where else have you got left on the tour? Uh, tomorrow night is Palmerston North. So that's a pretty short drive. So that'll be quite cruisy. Nice. Snails. Yeah, take it easy. Um, and then... The day after that, we're doing a matinee under the bridge show in Tauranga with uh, Grown Downs, um, Shock, Shock on, on the, the Couch, couch Diehards of Deep Dish. No. We're doing it <laughs> with... <Not> home. <laughs> we're doing it with two Skinner, not Diehards. <laughs> Correction. <laughs> to, um, Rick's in both bands, it's probably why you got it mixed up. Too many, too many things to remember. Um, <laughs> and, then, and then back to Auckland to... Yeah, to well, we've got yeah. an Auckland show next month. So, you know, we're really, like, going to recover from that one. <laughs> yeah, wicked. And then yeah. after, after tour, in terms of recordings, have you got anything, anything in, the, in the works? Any yes. Yeah, um, we did a recording of six songs uh, last year, and we've released uh, three of them now. Off that, yeah, so. about half out, yeah. Yeah, cool. And where can people keep up to date with what you're up to? Is social media a good place to follow you? Yeah, uh, Instagram probably being the yeah, best one. Instagram, cool. That's at Jang Sucks, J A N G S U X. I'm on there. Yeah. Uh, we are on Bandcamp, uh, Spotify, your so streaming sucks. platform, <laughs> Poison of choice. If you go. want to message us places. on there, I might reply to you. <laughs> Maybe just, you know, if you're lucky. Yeah. Have something worth saying. Don't just be like, what are you up to, bro? Like, I'm not going to reply to that, bro. Is that not worth asking? I mean, you can. It's kind of nice. Probably just, the answer will probably just be me basking. Just, I'll just be asking, bro. I want my just rock basking, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Always um, in this beautiful Wellington sunshine. Uh, okay, your new single, Holy Fury. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. It's epic. Loads mm -hmm. of energy. Um, quite dark in yeah. its lyrical content. Mm -hmm. Well, it's an F sharp minor, so. Well, yeah. yeah. Comes with the territory. Any F sharp minor heads out there. <laughs> <laughs> um, and there's and there's and there's few of them. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about this track and For sure. how it came um, about. Well, I kind of wrote it right after, around the time of that cannabis referendum. I don't remember if it was afterwards or before, but it was basically kind of uh, an emotional catharsis uh, around the kind of religious angle and arguments uh, against you know. Uh, drug decriminalization against like banning conversion therapy against kind of everything which is kind of the um, interesting part so um, yeah I was I have the Catholic background I'm like not I'm not coming to this as a stranger I'm coming to it as an insider uh, a jaded ex family member He's perhaps. inside the weed yeah. so uh, I don't have much to say you know I don't have much to add to the conversation around like religion but um, it's it's true it's from the heart put it that way yeah there we go and You've been able to road test it, I imagine, since we you've been on, on yeah, tour. Yeah, we've been What's, playing it live for a while. Um, yeah, so. how, and it's and it's been going good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> getting the getting the crowds pumped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wicked. Mm -hmm. Where do you record all your tracks as well? We recorded um, with a friend of ours called Martin Phillips, not of the chills of the band Repairs and Nuggies as well in Auckland. It was in a back room behind a barber shop in Pineville. Yeah, it's very, um, very interesting. Yeah. Very hot. Very. Sounds very more hot. interesting than it was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was it smaller than the room we're in right now. And yeah. 
We uh, we banged out six songs in the course of a day. I think a mist formed on the roof by the end of the day. <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah, it was like Lovely. being in a it rainforest. Sounds um, slimy. Great. I'm All right. Wrong, I'm in the wrong line of work. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get into it. Let's hear Holy Fury. All right. Cool. Here it goes. room big big thank you to you guys for coming out thank you radioactive thank you fm and tearing thank you for up having us the live room indeed do you have any any last words for your listeners here in wellington <laughs> yeah that don't. sounds so ominous <laughs> um, final words look behind you <laughs> donate to radioactive fm i'd like to see them get an air conditioning Woo! unit in here. yeah active card go sign up on the website hell yeah um, and Sweet. uh Make sure you make it to the gig. Um, keep an eye out. We've got fucking all sorts of shit coming out. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I shouldn't be swearing, should I? Um, <laughs> I? We've got all sorts of stuff coming out. We've got new singles. We've got new merch. Yeah. Um, Plenty going all on. Be, we'll be kicking off soon as. It's all happening. Thanks again. And thanks to New Zealand On Air Music for everything that you do. Kaki day, everybody. Have a beautiful weekend. Kaki day. See ya. Friday, 3.30. Every week, a new band. In studio. Brought to you by NZ on Air.